Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, please hit subscribe. <laughs> um, yeah. Hope you're having a good day, good night, whatever time of the day it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about things that are, you know, something that is better left unsaid, unheard of, and, you know, things that are, are better off kept to ourselves, you know, kept things private. You know what I mean, like... You know how you feel, the feeling is like, you can talk, tell your stories, and share, and connect, and be relatable, inspire people, and help someone, but let them know you're not alone, and it's okay. And some people, they're like an open book, but sometimes I think that it's important to like keep like some things to yourself, some things are so personal hard to talk about, hard to explain, and yeah, just things that I think it's important to keep things private to ourselves, you know, not, not necessarily that you have to tell everybody everything, you know, and I think some people should respect that, you know what I mean? By the way, I got these glasses, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yeah, like really, I can see so much clearer. It's like I can see, like I can see, but like from far away. I need these for see far away kind of glasses, cause far away was like blurry. I'm like, huh? I cannot see that far. So like I use these, I can see way more clear, like from afar. I can see things far away. Yeah. <laughs> so some things are better left unsaid because my life is my own, basically, yeah. Um, and there are some things I'd rather keep to myself, things that are very, very, very personal to me and that would make me cry so much thinking about him, thinking about the things and things in the past as well and maybe triggering to me and also I was almost so close to um, ending my life. Yep. Yeah. So because there is such a thing as sharing stories, you know, my journey, Growing up, being a kid and a teen, experiencing a lot of things in life, but there comes a time when sharing too much is not always healthy or sometimes even safe. Mm -hmm. True. Because there are people who would want to hurt you, want to cause harm, may probably stalk you on hack you online etc even want to hurt you physically or emotionally and true story this things like that does happen even when you know people that are popular online and, and entertainment and youtubers even the big big time popular youtubers is probably as well as small ones too. And things like that happen. They get stalked, literally. They get hacked online. People try to ruin them, destroy them, hurt them. Because, I don't know, like, people are crazy sometimes. Or like, people out there, they want to hurt you sometimes. Not everyone is nice. There are bad people out there in the world that want to hurt you. And, you know, it's not easy, especially I bet, you know, people that are big, you know, on YouTube and stuff, it's like crazy. And it's terrifying what could pop up out of nowhere randomly one day because of something was done or said that, you know, can probably not be undone. 
true. And I get, or people, either me or anyone who I get, like a panic attack, you know, or just terrified. If something were to happen to any of you, like people that are like famous and stuff, or like popular or whatever, or happened to me now or in the future, also it doesn't matter if you're a big time YouTuber or a small channel, there are very scary people out there that would try to find you, try to expose something from your past that's gonna possibly be triggering or humiliating and things you've done as a teenager um, when we were young and dumb and sometimes maybe reckless we do stupid shit especially like especially us girl women that we don't think we don't even think about the consequences of our actions and that we we are we were we were teenagers, young adults. We can be very naive, very insecure, and vulnerable. People could take you for granted, take advantage of you, could take you for granted and use you to try to get what they want, like your body for sex, maybe drugs, or even nudes, or other stuff, I don't know, like, could be anything, for any reason. There are so many girls, young girls, in, in our generation, and in their teens, even minors, are like, 14, 15, 16, or young adults, like 18, 19 years old, who either send nudes to guys or someone, whoever, and they, you know, they thought that they can trust and care about, liked, loved, you know, trusted that person. And that person would, like, abuse that chance, that opportunity of the internet and post it without their consent is completely wrong if the girls had a boyfriend or whoever, you know, their partner is, who take a picture of the girl naked so he or whoever could keep it to themselves to think about her and yet if they break up or something, and this has happened, I've seen movies, movies like your know, Lifetime, I've seen that happen based on a true story when, like, this girl had a boyfriend and she took pictures of her but he posted it without consent but she thought it was him but somehow it was her best friend i'm like that was confusing like what like a you know how they have like a twist ending kind of thing but stuff like that could happen in real life and that, that is scary terrifying and think that that can scar you for life and sometimes girls that are in that situation sometimes they commit suicide that happens People don't think, like, what if there's not their consent, you know? What if the other person abused that and hurt them, that they thought someone they could trust, and they ended up, you know, in that situation, and it's, you don't know what it's like for them, you know? Like, people don't think, like, what if, I hate when you say sluts, whore, this and that, like, they're people, you know? They're minors, they're young girls, even... Young adults, like 18 and 19, you know? It's, it's, it's cruel to, to just take advantage of them, you know? Consent is very important. And where was I? Um, The person will like, take revenge. And there's a thing called revenge porn. If you ever heard of it, look it up. It's just fucked up. It's messed up. Without their permission, posting pictures or videos or whatever without their permission, consent, it's going to leave her scarred for life, scared, harassed. People, girls like that, they end up being harassed by other people. Say, oh, I saw this or whatever, you know, and they think it's okay to harass them and sexually harass them, and they will start to have suicidal thoughts, 
want to commit suicide and some may end up doing so because of the constant bullying, harassment. It was all too much because their bodies were exposed, you know, and extremely, they were left extremely vulnerable. And sometimes they can get sexually assaulted. Men thinking it's okay to do so because people automatically think she's a slut. No. You don't know how that feels until you're in their shoes. You'll never understand the pain of that feels like the horrified women like that feel. How I would feel. How anyone else would feel. And they're a horrible, evil, cruel, nasty, just mean and cruel people who would take advantage to even blackmail, threaten you, to like, hurt you and harm you in any way to expose something that's sort of possibly just to hurt you, to make you suffer emotionally inside of something that haunted you for so long, but you're be trying to be strong, be strong. But you're a different person now. And back what back then, what the person, the other person did was wrong. It is not their right, especially, especially if the girl is a minor. It's like child pornography. It's not okay. Also, even your friend, like, should be there for you. And if you, even if your friend that's possibly jealous of you will do that to you or a mean girl that's your enemy will also do that, not even a guy sometimes, it's not right. People can be so cruel in middle school, especially in high school. People can be cruel and hurt you, may even want you dead. You, they, they say horrible and nasty things to you. Spread rumors about you, lies of you, it's bullying, cyberbullying, harassment, etc. You feel unsafe, scared of what else could happen or what would happen to you. People are cruel and they think it's funny when the joke's not on them. They think it's hilarious when, <laughs> like funny, when someone is being put down and Body, body physically exposed to make us miserable and sometimes still keep laughing, calling us names like loser, slut, whore, bitch, you know, go, you don't belong here, go kill yourself, you're a nobody, things like that, that she deserved it, you would feel so helpless that you, that you no one's going to save you. You can't escape except ending your life. That's how you're going to feel. And then that's how most women or anyone feels, even men, feel like the only way to escape is by ending it all. It's not funny. And people shouldn't judge or hate, criticize because of that reason. Some things are just better left unsaid. My life is my own, and I'm entitled to keep some of it private, some things to myself, to protect myself so no one would harm me. I want to feel safe. Safe in my own environment, in my own home, wherever I go. I remember that I was stalked online and hacked online. It was either on a kick, a messenger, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it was. And I was still in high school. I felt very unsafe. Wherever I went, walking in the street, as if there are cameras watching me everywhere I go. And in school, there's a hacker could hack into the school computer and look at me and watch me wanting me to suffer and feel miserable and I felt very unsafe I kept a book where I write how I felt 
And when I see movies like that that happen in real life, I start to cry because I know that feeling. So if something ever one day pops up somewhere, I was taken advantage of, and it was out without my consent. Things like that happen to lots of young girls, even young adults. Like I, like I wrote down what I, what I said in here. It felt like a, kind of like a poetry slam or something. You know, poetry slam, that's what it felt like because all the emotion. But like next time I'll do a story time. But this is just like venting all these things that happen. It's not okay to laugh or joke about it or criticize or anything like that. Especially if thing it was in the past, and they're like an adult now, they're older. But it's hard to talk about because this it still affects me. The memories, the bad memories that happened when I was a teenager or a young adult. I feel like when I'm way older, I would feel more confident in telling my stories more, personal things. And to you young girls out there who have felt that way, you're not alone. And you shouldn't feel like a victim. Anyway, like this video, give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, subscribe, subscribe, honey. Show me some love, you know. Um, I got links right here for more videos. Subscribe to my channel. Um, um, follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, links down below. All my links down below, check them out. Story times, um, LGBTQ plus content, you know, all that down there. Just subscribe. Links right here. Check them all out. If you want to watch some more videos. Mm -hmm. And until next time, bye, my beautiful people, friends, and subscribers. Everyone, thank you for watching. And until next time, bye.